uh, indeed it's a long title. Uh, I'll give a bit of a, a bit of a context. So um, the company that I work for is an SME in Bucharest. Uh, we've been, uh, to say so, on the market for about 15 years, and uh, we work with Earth observation data and geospatial data. Uh, we also have experience in developing um, Earth uh, exploitations, uh, Earth observation exploitation platforms. And our first, uh, our first years have been uh, mainly focused on doing research in this, um, in this, uh, in this area. Oh, maybe I should also skip a bit. Okay, like this. So, yeah. okay. Uh, so, um, w uh, the usual suspects as beneficiaries with which we, uh, with which we work. Uh, are the European Space Agency, the World, uh, World Bank, the Inter-American Development Bank. So um, in the last years, uh, we've been trying to, I'll just say about it. So in the last years, we've been trying to take the knowledge that we have acquired in the research projects that we've been doing at the company, we've been trying to move that towards the operational environment and taking what uh, what we know how to do that is to extract knowledge that is uh, uh, extract knowledge from earth observation data and from geospatial analysis and actually make it uh, usable by people that don't work with maps every day and don't have that um, uh, that interest uh, uh, in uh, in processing data and one of our initiatives in that uh, one of our initiatives in that direction is uh, for um, a sector, a commercial sector that comes to everyone's mind. If you think about it, it's related to insurance and reinsurance. Uh, so uh, we um, we started this initiative about uh, four years ago. Uh, some two years ago, we have uh, obtained support from ESA. We had a co-financed project between our company and ESA in trying to develop an exploitation platform dedicated to insurance, to the insurance sector. Uh, so. Uh, our work was done in very close collaborations, uh, collaboration with two companies that are active on the insurance market in Romania. So what we tried to do was to find somehow the, the common language uh, with, uh, with our beneficiaries. And I have to say that for someone that has been working in earth observation and uh, only in, uh, geosp in this geospatial world, it was quite a challenge. Um, so I will not uh, I will not insist too much on the details, but the idea was that we had almost monthly meetings trying to uh, one minute okay <laughs> we had <laughs> we had almost monthly meetings trying to understand what they need and we tried to build the platform and we with uh, special attention to the uh, graphical user interface so uh, it would be useful for them. We used only open source components. What we developed was open source, and a lot of uh, efforts we've invested into the uh, into populating the database, as we say, with important, um, uh, not with important, but with relevant geographical information for their work. Um, I will go super fast. So um, this is how it looks like. Of course, we did trainings with them. Uh, we had all kinds of activities. So we developed something together with the uh, with the with part of the sector that we are trying to we're trying to work with in an operational uh, way I'll go through this of course a lot of value in earth observation for our world uh, one interesting thing is that uh, we of course want to expand outside of the old oh, dam outside the outside the Romanian market so uh, we've ended up uh, talking with the United Nations they have a financial uh, finance initiative they try to show how climate change is influencing the finance sector and they gave a, they uh, have um, they have a collection of tools that are relevant in that sector and of course geospatial tools are also considered and they gave us like a hundred and something questions to answer in order to put our our uh, tool, which is called GeoInsure. I forgot to mention the name. So to put our tool in this uh, United uh, United Nations dashboard, and this was one of the questions that I've got. And then I realized that uh, doing uh, using open source to offer services is. Um, 
uh, is important for the people that are building it and not necessarily for the people that are buying it or, pay or uh, that are going to use it. So I had some takeaways that I wanted to, sell, to, to say. Uh, so with respect to companies or if you work in, a, in an environment where you don't sell software but you, sir, uh, you sell a service, then the fact that it is open source, it's relevant to you and maybe for the technical people there. So don't, okay, yes, I'm done. So don't, don't put too much pressure on it. Uh, thank you very much.